Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm going to be doing something really fun and I'm going to let you guys try to guess what it is. So I'm going to let you see the items that we're working with. Once you guys see the, these items, I hope you guys could try to figure out what we're doing or what I'm doing. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm actually, drum roll please painting my demi point shoes and I actually got this idea from the Ripka twins they're like Australian twins on YouTube I don't know if you guys heard of them it's they're called the Ribka twins um and they actually painted their point shoes I'm not gonna be painting my point shoes I'm gonna be painting my demi point but I think it'll still look cute either way and plus I don't use these already so yeah but I am super excited you guys and yeah so I just kind of want to get started so I have my paints, I have um, a green cup filled with some water, and I have an empty cup so I could like put the paint in and mix everything together. And then I have a water bottle for myself because I'm actually kind of thirsty. So I'm just going to tuck the strings in. This is going to look so cute. And I'm actually going for like a lavender, it's like a light type purple. Some people call it lilac um, or like light violet, but I just call it lavender, like light purple. So I'm going to be painting my Demi Point shoes light purple, and I'm just super excited. I'm going to take a water break. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. So my biggest concern is, so like I said, it's going to be light purple, and I'm just using washable washable paint you guys this is crayola paint this is washable washable paint the Ripka twins definitely did better and used something else but i have to use it with what i already have and so i don't even know what they, these are but yeah so basically my concern is they, these are all different type of purples and i do not have a, i don't even have a white one of this so i'm gonna have to work with making light purple from this white and this white and i'm hoping this is enough white to make it all light purple but we'll see so i think i'm just gonna use the purple from this one or maybe i'll use Cause yeah, I don't have a lot of purple. Maybe I'll try to use. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna start. I have a few napkins just in case it gets messy. I put some water in this cup just to like rinse it out or something. Put it out like dust in it. So oh, and I have my paint brushes. So I'm excited, you guys. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this thing open. I am so excited. Like I never even thought about this idea. So. Props to the Ripka Twins. <laughs> you guys should go check them out. They like do like cool gymnastics videos and stuff. I'm totally shouting them out. <laughs> if they ever see this video, I'd be like, hey. But, um, so I'm just getting out the whites and the purples from this paint pack and then I'll be done because I really just went, ow. Ooh, I really just cut myself. Ooh, I really just cut myself. What am I doing? Oh. You guys, please have an adult help you with this. Ow, that actually really hurt. I'm okay. It's fine, you guys. I don't even know what happened. But this is why you can't start something when you're so excited. Ow. That, like, it's really... But anyway, I'm back. Um, I did get a cut on my finger from opening that plastic thing. Um... I guess, like, literally, before I even started, I have to put blood, blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. So, all I gotta do is sweat and cry now, right? Just kidding now. But yeah, so, yeah, I just got, like, a little slit, but I'm okay. I put a band-aid, oopsie, and a piece of tape to hold the band-aid. So hopefully this doesn't come off.
Oh yeah. This is the color I'm trying to get at. The little not the edges. Don't look at the edges. But like that main right there. Mm-hmm. It's starting to become the color I want. So yeah, we'll just start off from here. So I think that's pretty good about the color I want. Um, I could have it a little bit lighter. Purple. Maybe a little bit more white. But like I said, I may not get the exact color I want. Because this white is already becoming empty a little bit. And I'm not sure if this paint, this paint full of cup, wait. This cup full of paint is going to work. But, okay, it's going to have to. It's not making much of a difference when I add white. And I just think I'm kind of wasting white now. But you guys... Here, I'm going to mix the white into here. Okay. I just wasted it. Okay. All right. I'm excited. All right. So I'm going to start with my first Demi Point shoe. And so I just tuck the ribbons in. and But it's fine if the ribbons get some color on them. All right. I really want you guys to make sure you can see it. I have to move some. Let me close this white. This one... All right, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. I have it, like, really weirdly set up. Okay, so here's the first brush. Ooh, this is looking really, really pretty. Alright guys, so I just got finished painting the first one. Well, definitely not all the way. So I'm I'm hoping that this dries pretty well. <laughs> here, I'm going to try to show you guys. So here it is. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I looked on the camera and saw I didn't paint that bottom. But when you put it down, it's like the bottom of the shoe. So I don't think I really want to paint the bottom of the shoe. Or maybe I do, but I want to make sure I have enough paint for this one first. <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry a little bit. It is washable paint, so it kind of does dry quick. My hands are all painted on. Look at that one. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to move on to the next shoe. So I finished painting both of them. Well, this is not the finished product, but they're both purple. And I even decided to paint the seams purple. I wasn't sure before, but I'm like, hey, why not? And so I'm sorry, just trying to check the time. <laughs> um, uh, this was like enough paint. So I'm just going to squirt both of the things in. And once it dries, I'm going to repaint them into the color I really want. And hopefully they don't look as patchy. All right, guys, so I have to kind of be quiet because it is late at night and I'm doing this. Um, so some of my family is sleeping. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I kind of dapped it a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a quick dry already, but I dapped it, like dabbed it. I don't know why I'm saying dap, like I'm dapping someone. But I did that and I'm about to repaint over it because as you can see it looks kind of blotchy yeah and i finally have the color mixed up i want so yeah we're gonna see how this color looks and i'm just gonna paint over it hopefully it can paint over and not mix with this color and make it even darker but we'll see so let's try it so this is kind of already a bit darker i mean lighter than before so this is the real color i wanted Look at that, you guys. This is so pretty. Oh, and I also stuffed some uh, napkins, too, so it can be easier to paint. Just a bit easier. Look at the difference. 
difference of the color. So I love this one. This one, I'm going to paint it lighter, just like this one. So I decided to paint all of it purple. Um, I don't think I'm going to paint this purple, but, you know, like all around it. Because I didn't do that with this one. So, and I think I'm going to um, probably even maybe paint the straps purple. I'll see if I have enough paint left for that. Or I may just have to buy purple straps. But this is the definitely the shade I was going for. This one. So let's move on to the next shoe. Um, I have a pretty big foot and I had to stick, I'm sticking a water bottle in it just so I can paint everything without there being crevices. But yeah, this is like basically um, going to be the finished product soon. It looks really good right now and it's pretty cute and it's pretty lavender. This is a, I could have it a little bit lighter, but I think just so I won't be as picky, this color should work. So yep, I'm going to start painting with a water bottle on my shoe and yeah, I am changing my paintbrush so it can be, since this is like the finished product, so it can be more even strokes because last time I had this paintbrush, so yeah, so I'm just going to paint with this one and it's way more even strokes and it's so pretty, it's like ASMR. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so I just stuck this water bottle in here, just like so. It's kind of not cooperating with me, but that's okay. You do, do want it to be snug enough. Um, but I highly recommend finding something that fits well for your point shoe if you want to paint it because you definitely don't want to paint over cracks because then when the cracks are smoothed out, then it'll look all patchy. Okay, okay guys, this is the part where it gets pretty messy. So I had to use my hands to make the um, ribbon this color and it looks really pretty. I'm loving everything. Um, so I'm about to use my hands to do this too. So uh, keep in mind it is going to get a little messy. Um, yeah. Okay guys, it is way past midnight. I really should be in bed, but it's the weekend, so hey. Anyway, here is the finished product, you guys. It looks really, really pretty. So as you can see, I painted the strings and these strings and this. So it looks so good, you guys. This is it, you guys, and this is really, really pretty. I love it. I will show you guys better in the morning because it's pretty dark right now. But yeah. Okay guys, I just woke up and this is how they are when they're dried. This looks so good, you guys. I'm actually really, really proud of myself. And this was like pretty fun to do. This was really, really good. This is how they look. You know, it's not like professional, professional. Especially on the strings, you could still see it's a bit light. But hey, I'm not looking for perfection. But this looks pretty good. I'm really, really proud of myself. So yeah, I think this is going to be my finished product for my Demi Point shoes. So yeah, this is going to, I don't think I'm going to really wear these. I think this is just going to be for decoration because when I wear them, I'm not sure how the paint will do. But yeah, um, oh, and by the way, my Band-Aid stayed on. It's a trooper. Look at that. This thing stayed on through the whole process and it's still on so yeah give a thumbs up for the band-aid trooper or if you have point shoes or do ballet or would like to do ballet anyway guys thanks for watching this video give it a like and yeah bye